Hey guys, it's Dr. Blaze Minecraft here. In this video, I am doing an airship review! Yay! And for once, not a BCE ship. <laughs> it's a miracle. In fact, it's a th Theora ship? Theorium ship? I don't know. Let's pick there. So, uh, this, uh, I built this today. Uh, I always record an uh, airship review on the day I finish the ship. Uh, as you can see, it's it's a little janky, I think. It, it looks a little janky with these painters just kind of strutting out, but... Eh. By the time I actually take, took, took a look at the outside of the ship, it was already too late. I had designed most of the rooms up top here. Uh, anyway, so, uh, this is the flagship of the Theora Kingdom, uh, well, specifically their, their, uh, science fleet, uh, as it has no weapons on it. Although these hainers do hold fighters, ah, with torpedoes and fire guns. Although they're pretty rudimentary fighters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this back is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we're not going to the Hainers just yet, though. So, uh, I ended up calling this the Whispering Star. Star class. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, it's so much better, Jesus Christ. No HUD. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is literally just designed, um... I think I was... A little inspired by the Galaxy class uh, starship from Star Trek, to be honest, because it has like science rooms and it has uh, storage rooms and stuff. Okay, yeah, uh, never mind. I don't know how I did that comparison. All right. Oh. Okay, I don't know why that was missing, but okay then. Okay, so we are gonna enter in through hither first, and we're gonna start at the bridge. So this is the bridge, as you can see this is one big panel. Oh, excuse me, Jesus Christ. This is just one big panel with ascend, descent, cruise. Mm. The helm, and then the pilot sign. Uh... This is the biggest ship that the Theora Kingdom builds. Uh, that's just because, again, you know, they're not supposed to be a big militaristic power and stuff. Uh, okay, so yeah, if we go behind, we will see a nice big hallway. We have the storage compartments. We also have access to a low to a below deck area. With the, the cargo thing, I don't know. I could easily just turn this into an air skiff. Actually, no, I can't because there's too many chests. Here we have the actual science labs. So these are the actual science rooms. And if we continue going back, we have access to the Hainers. They're pretty bland. They don't separate or anything. Uh, and then back here is engineering with furnaces and chests. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything on this deck. And if we go up a deck, we have the crew quarters. This is a, a lounge. This is one of the few ships I ever designed with a lounge. Uh, this is kind of like a, a balcony. But it's not really <laughs> because it's inside the ship. But it's the closest thing I could get to a balcony in this design. And then if you go this way, there we go. We have the mess, the mess of Cecil. <laughs> I just got flashbacks to uh, uh, a YouTube poop of uh, Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, so we have the, the mess assess halls. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny. Ooh. 
We have the captain's quarters. He's got bookshelves, desk. He's got stuff. Uh, we have the first officer's quarters. He's pretty much got the same stuff. And then back to the bridge with the ladder. So uh, this is this video is just here uh, <laughs> simply because my next few videos are gonna be Skyrim, <laughs> which is gonna be fun to edit. Have to cut out a lot of stuff. Uh, don't worry though, there will be uh, a history lessons video uh, coming up in the middle of all the Skyrim videos as well. So yeah, that was the Whispering Star, Star Class uh, exploration vessel designed by me from for the Theora Kingdom. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this nice little video or something, I don't know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>